Hello, hello, hello everyone. It's Brenda with Busy Bees Custom Creations. Hope you all had a wonderful 4th of July. I'm super excited about tonight's live. Tonight we are going to be making the um, Sunflower Gnome Sign and Ribbon Kit. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And this is in my shop and it comes with, look at this gnome handmade. Isn't this gnome just adorable? I love it. He's holding a little sunflower and then this is the sign that goes with it. Hey now. Okay, so we have this sign and then we have four different ribbons that we're going to use. We're going to use the sunflower ribbon. We have a black and white and we have a yellow and we have an orange. So we're going to use all four of these ribbons tonight. Hey, Jerry, I'm good. How are you? Um, I have this black and white striped mesh. I know, isn't he cute? So we're going to start out with that. They are cut to 20 inches. So we are going to go ahead and let me bring you down here. So you can see our little gnome. I know, isn't he cute? She does such a good job. So this is in my Etsy shop right now. So make sure you grab yours because we only have, I think there's only nine kits left. We're not making a ton of kits. We're just doing a um, few. So how does, how was everyone's 4th of July? Did you have fun? Hope you guys did. We had a busy weekend. Friday night. What did we do Friday? What was Friday? Oh, Friday I had game night here with a bunch of my friends. And then Saturday was the wedding. And then Sunday was my grandson's um, birthday party. So we had a busy, busy weekend. So this, I know, isn't this mesh pretty? This mesh is cut to 20 inches. And we're just going to go through and put one in each of the pipe cleaners. And I did my, um, my frame the same way I always do. So what did everyone do this weekend? Fill me in, fill me in. I am, it was a really good weekend. The wedding was beautiful. My niece looked beautiful. They both said their own vows to each other, which was just so adorable. Hey, Anne. Hey, Peggy. How are you? Hey, Rose from Dallas. How are you tonight? Thank you all for joining me tonight. It was hot. I know it was hot. Yeah, it rained off and on on Saturday. Um, now, the wedding was inside, but still, they were doing pictures and stuff outside. Hey, Rhea. So, I was hoping it wouldn't rain for the pictures. So, But they got the pictures in, so I'm glad. Oh, your husband. Wow, happy birthday. Anne's birthday was on the 4th, too. And my sister, who passed away a couple of years ago, it was her birthday yesterday also. Lots of 4th of July, baby. <laughs> now he's old. <laughs> Jerry, you're funny. <laughs> I know, it's good to see you, Rose. We're glad you're back. Oh, and don't forget, I'm doing the King Sumo giveaway. Hey, Camille, um, to win a chance to for a chance to win five of my most popular um, truck signs. So don't forget to uh, sign up for that. That's in the description of this video, and you get five entries for subscribing to my YouTube channel through that. Five entries for. Um, um, favoring my Etsy shop, and then two entries daily. So make sure you guys enter. Um, I just checked. I think there's 66 people that have entered. So get your entry in. You get a lot of um, entries. It poured. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. A lot, of, uh, a lot of fireworks. Although some of the places that we normally... Uh, do fireworks around here didn't have them all right so I want to do hey Donna I want to do a um, this is like the very last piece so I want to do this white on top to kind of cut down 
the black and the white so much. So let's see how we like that. I know. So we'll see. I don't know if I like that or not. Let's go through and do all of them. Hey, Janie. Let's do all the black and white and then see what we think about it. Hey, Kathy, how are you? And my sister um, Pat is in from North Carolina. So she's staying here with us. And then my sister Sharon moved back from Minnesota. So it's been an exciting weekend. All right, now we're going to do the bottom row. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to have to move these out of the way. My son um, did fireworks at his house for all the kids last night for the party. So, and it was a gorgeous day. So, um, Rose, in the description of the video, there you'll see the King Sumo giveaway. There's a link, and you just click on that link, and that will take you um, to sign up. So, make sure you get your name in there. I will be picking the winner on. Monday, June 26th, and you have, like I said, you have chances to enter daily, too. You get two um, entries daily for sharing and to enter, so make sure you do that. So, yeah, but other than that, I mean, today was pretty quiet. I had to... We're going on vacation, and um, my, our friends who watch our dog, they moved to South Carolina. Well, they were up for the wedding, so um, they're taking Bailey back with her. So she's going on vacation for three weeks. <laughs> so she came. I met them today, and we um, went ahead and you know, did that. So I'm going to miss the little stinker. It's so quiet without a dog around, you know, and she's always laying right here with me. So it's hard not having her here. <laughs> you guys find that with when you have dogs, like when you go away or they're not here, it's like so quiet. I expect her to be sitting right there, but she's not. So the um, mesh is cut to 20 inches. And what comes with this kit is the gnome, the five by seven sign, and five yards of each of the four ribbons. So make sure you sign up for that. And please share the, um, the King Sumo giveaway also with your friends so they can enter. I know, Bailey's going to have such a good time. She loves it with them, and they spoil her more than we do. So she's going to have, she's not going to want to come home, basically. <laughs> she's going to be like, what? They give me everything I want. <laughs> so she is just a little spoiled with them. Not that she isn't with us, but, but she has a good time. I love this mesh. I really, really love this mesh. So we'll see. I'm going to put the gnome against it and see if we want to add the white. It's so hard to tell if I want to add the white on top or not, but we will see. I'll let you guys help me decide. I know. She's so, they're so good with her. It's nice having, you know, people that you know you can trust. They're going to take you know, just as good a care or not better care than you do with your animal, you know, because they're part of your family. Oh, no, 90. That's not good. He doesn't play well with others. <laughs> She's pretty good. She's pretty good. So it is funny, though, because Carol's like, how's she going to do in the car? I said, oh, she loves to ride in the car, so she'll be fine. My Rottweiler that I had before her, she got car sick, so... It wasn't, we could not take her in the car. But Bailey, boy, she loves to go in the car. But like I said, it is nice having someone that I know will take care of her. 
as much as we will. They live in an apartment. They When they moved down, they didn't buy a house. They wanted to, you know, look around, kind of make sure where they wanted to be. And her husband, Bill, is like, she won't jump off the balcony, will she? I'm like, no, she will not jump off the balcony. He's like, I'm really worried that she's going to jump off. I'm like, she will not jump off of that balcony. So again, this mesh is cut to 20 inches. And if you cut it to um, 20 inches, you get uh, 18 pieces out of it. I think this mesh came from Craft Outlet. I know, isn't it pretty? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I know, it is hard to find someone that you really trust because the first person... When we first, the first year we got her, I guess it was, she was probably, she was like 14 months old. And the people that watched her, I trusted them, very nice people, but her husband didn't shut the screen door and barely got out. And I was at the airport and she called me. Well, I didn't, I ended up not going on the trip with my husband. I ended up staying home. Luckily, my son went and found her, but I couldn't leave her then. I was too afraid to leave her. You know, I was like, I can't leave my baby again. So he ended up going to California without me, which he understood. He was like, look, if this wasn't my meeting, I would be staying home too. So, you know, she was just shaking like a leaf when I got there. She was so upset. So I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't leave her then. And that's when Bill and Carol were like, we'll watch her. And they, like I said, they take such good care of her. That she doesn't want to come home. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. To ask your vet. Oh my goodness, I love this mesh. Love it, love it, love it. <clears throat> so again, this mesh was cut to 20 inches. Yeah, because, you know, a lot of time, like, the vet technicians or something like that, they'll, they, you know, pet sit or something like that, so. And don't forget to please share this video if you would. I would much appreciate it. And share the King Sumo. Okay. One more, and then we're going to see if we want to do that white. I didn't know. Yeah, I got her cut on, uh, she got her, her trim on Friday. So I was like, well, you better cut her um, short because she's going to South Carolina for a couple weeks. All right, last one. Oh. And then we'll see if we want to add that in. Okay. Doesn't that look pretty? Oh my goodness, I love it. So what do you guys think? Should we... Let me add the white to a couple of them and see. So I'm afraid that... Um, oh no, he'll destroy. That's not good. Let's see if we like it. And this is, again, it's just white. Um, it has some sparkle in it, but this is cut to 20 inches as well. Hold this over here. Hey, Peggy. So let's see what we think. We'll put a couple in and see if we like it. Okay. I love this black and white mesh, but I just, I'm not sure if the, um, the gnome will stand out enough. So we're just going to put some white in and see what we think to kind of have that stick out a little bit. Okay, so, and this is the end of the roll. So of course it's very curly, so I... We'll put that rock on top of it to help hold that down. 
And this is, like I said, this is cut to 20 inches also. We'll put a couple of these on and see. Oh, what fun laundry. <laughs> I did that today too. Lots of laundry, always to do. what we think. And this one is that last one on the roll that was really, really curly. So we'll pop this one in here. Down the bottom row. Don't you feel like you never stop doing laundry? Of course we don't, but I feel like that's all I do sometimes. He destroyed the metal bars. Oh my goodness. That's, that's hard when you have a dog. Yeah, you do. You want to you wanna make sure they're okay. So we're just doing a ruffle on top of the ruffle. I know. I worry. <laughs> My son always teases me. He's like, this is the most spoiled dog you've ever had. I'm like, I know. She is. She is very spoiled. Think. Do we like that white on top? I think it cuts down the black a little bit. It'll help the gnome stand out. So we'll keep going with it. So everyone make sure, hey Debbie, you say happy birthday to Ann. Her birthday was yesterday. Yesterday. I know it's hard when they have separation anxiety, you know? You worry about them. You gotta kind of find that in there. These half pipe cleaners are kind of hard to find in there. I would sing, but you don't want to hear me sing. One half pipe cleaner does not want to cooperate. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you should have seen the birthday spread her uh, daughter did for her. She had lobster and all kinds of stuff. I don't like seafood, but it, it looked good. Like I said, Ann makes the gnomes for the kits, and I do the sign and ribbon part. So, um, oh, she has a golden doodle? Aw. Um, the, I think, believe both of the mesh came from Craft Outlet. The black and the white might have come from um, Joanne's. I'm not sure. But this is just a white that has the metallic running through it. So this is the high metallic white. And they're both cut to 20 inches. Yeah, our, our, we have a Labradoodle, and she is, honestly, the best dog we've ever had. In fact, when my husband retires, um, he's retiring the end of next year, I think, maybe. <laughs> um, we're going to get another one. So, we'll see how that goes. Next one. Let's 
half pipe cleaners are tough when you uh, put in a second thing of mesh. <laughs> you wish you felt 35. <laughs> I wish I was 35 again. Oh, to be that young again, right? Oh. That would be nice. Yeah, don't we all wish we were 35 again? And know what we know now, right? Um, where did she get her from? I got her from, I got my Bailey from um, Crossfield Doodles. They're in Sellersville, Pennsylvania. Well, actually, she came from the Crossfield Doodles down south. But um, her mom is the one that's down south, and she's, um, she breeds in Sellersville here. So they might be. And they're very good dogs, very good dogs. And the sweetest temperament, ugh. I would recommend these breeders to anyone because they're very, very good. But I got Bailey, well, Bailey's five, she just turned five in June. And um, she was, I think, one of their first litters. Two German Shepherds with Japanese names. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's funny because, you know, I'll go places and have her with me and I'll be like, is that a Crossfield Doodles? And a lot of times they are, so... Yeah, but you'll have to ask her what the uh, breeder's name, because they are really good with, you know. And they really, they train the dog, well, not train them, but they, you know, raise them with kids around and all kinds of stuff like that. So they really are, they really take the time with the dogs. They're not just in it, you know, to breed them. And... Hey, Berlene, how are you? What do you think? Do you like that white in there? I think it, it breaks up the black and the white. Uh, mine is a Labradoodle. Yeah, she's a Labradoodle. She, you know what? When she was a puppy, she fell in the water at my daughter's pool. And she'll go in, but she'll, like, very, very, like, she'll stay right on the step. She won't venture in. So she, I think that just kind of scared her when she fell in. And she just didn't like it, so. So she, yeah, she's not really a, uh, a water dog. Now, I had a chocolate lab years ago, one of our first dogs, um, it's just, hey, Deb, it's just the, um, oh, I can't think, Deb, the um, metallic mesh, the white. Oh, wow. Yeah, but um, a friend of Carol's daughter, actually, that's watching Bailey, she just got a, um, Burn a doodle, where it's it's a Bernese Mountain Dog mixed with a poodle. White eared it. Thank you, Rose. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, she's a sweetheart. She's so good. I mean, we, we take her, if we could take her on vacation, we would, but um, we can't, so, but she's so good. Like I said, she's good in the car, she's good um, with kids, she just is really just a great dog.
they do. Yeah, I had a, a chocolate lab, and if I was in the water, I I I couldn't be in the water with her around because um, she would just swim to me and scratch me up like crazy. Yes, they are great service dogs, and she um she actually is um I. I used to, I don't, I haven't done it in a while. I would take her to some of the um, retirement centers around here and the school across, we have an elementary school across the street and they have a reading program with dogs, but um, she, would, she would go and do that and she's just so good with the kids and the elderly. You're looking at a golden doodle, Kathy? No way. Oh, she got her from Greenfield Doodles? I've heard of them. Um, I don't really know of them, but I've heard of them. You have to be careful with the Amish, uh, buying from Amish breeders because they can really, not the Amish, but some of them can be really puppy mills. So you have to be careful buying a dog out of Lancaster. I mean, they're just... She, I mean, Bailey really is. She's just a good, good dog. But, I mean, I take, whenever I get a puppy, oh, you did? I, I take my dogs through a year of training. Um, you know, I really make sure that they're trained well because I want them to be, you know, I want them to be good around kids because, you know, I have seven grandsons. I want them to be good around other dogs. So there's a lady locally who um, has classes and I think I've taken my last four or five dogs to her, so. So I take them for a year and make sure they're trained well and make sure they listen. And Because, you know, if you have a dog that doesn't listen or, you know, is not trained, they can just be so bad. So you really want to take the time to do it. Yes, my husband had um, grew up with German Shepherds. And we had a Rottweiler, too. And, oh. oh, wow, really? That's awesome, Rose. Dogs are so smart. They really are. Okay, we have one more after this. And then we get to the ribbon. Okay. All right. Last one. Yeah, my sister-in-law has golden retrievers. We always had labs, but then my um, seven-year-old grandson is allergic. So when we wanted to get um, our Rottweiler was getting older, he was okay with her. He would break out in hives a little bit, but he wasn't too bad. Um, so when we wanted to get another dog, when we knew our Rottweiler was going, um, we, I mean, I really researched what we could get and a friend of my daughter's that my daughter went to high school with, she had one of the Crossfield Doodle puppies and, um, she was a great dog. So I, at nine months, I know, right? You're a crazy cat lady. Yeah, my neighbor's a crazy cat lady, and my sister's, yeah, my sister's a crazy cat lady. Okay, so we have all of the mesh on. What do you guys think? It's good. All right, so these are the ribbons we are using. The ribbons are cut to 12 inches. So we have the sunflower ribbon. We have the plaid ribbon. And then we have the yellow ribbon and the orange ribbon. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the sunflower, the plaid, and one, either the orange or the yellow, and we're going to alternate them. We're going to gather it together and all the ribbons are cut to 12 inches. Yeah, my sister, I think, has um, two kittens and an outdoor cat, I think, so. All right, so we're going to pull the yellow down like 
that. Yeah, you can do three ribbons. You can do four ribbons if you want. It's totally up to you. So this kit is for sale in my Etsy shop. It comes with the gnome, the sign, and these four ribbons. Okay, so we're just going to keep going around. Oh, what'd you order, Debbie? Anything good? This time I'm going to pull the orange up and the plaid down. Okay, like that. And then we'll do the same thing going around. Oops, that one isn't cut all the way. Are you down at the beach, Kathy? Or are you home? I thought you were down at the beach. Okay. So we're just going to alternate the yellow and the orange, but we're going to use, you know, those other two on every pipe cleaner. Oh, okay. Of course, ribbon. <laughs> That's a given. So again, I'm just going to pull the yellow down the black and the white up. And next we're doing the orange. Hey Sarah, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Oops. Hey, I can't complain. No. Thanks for asking. <laughs> she thought I said sorry. Oh my goodness. Oh, we stay at the Brigadoon. The Brigadoon. Yes, I can't wait. We are going on vacation. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Yeah, my sister's going to be staying here at the house. My other... My sister-in-law is going to be taking care of the signs for me. So lots going on. And that one didn't cut all the way through. Don't you hate when that happens? And it's going to be a busy week drive all the way to Myrtle Beach on Friday, but I am up for it. I am ready. Ready to go. So where's everyone's favorite place to go on vacation? We always go to Myrtle Beach. Nice. You're there for a month, aren't you, Debbie? Oh, I love how this is turning out. I love the colors. All right, so we got an orange, and then we go around the bottom row. Oops, did I do it again? I did a very good job of cutting these. Did not do a very good job of cutting these. Hawaii, uh, that's some place my husband and I want to go when he retires. Oh, only three weeks this year? I just got my husband to do two weeks. I told him the next... Next thing I want to do is have him go for a month, but I know he'll never go for that. <laughs> but I can try. I can try. Yeah, we always go to Myrtle Beach. I mean, we've been married 39 years, and I think we've gone every year except for one, and that was because my grandson was born. My oldest grandson, so... Oh, really? Well, when we get ready to set up our trip, Rose, I'll have to contact you because I have no idea where we should go. But a couple of um, other of my friends are going, I think in the next couple of months or something, so I'll ask them too. Oh, nice. Yes, to Keys. I haven't been there. 
All right, so we're going to go around the bottom row doing the same thing. We're going to pull the orange up and the plaid down. Like that. Curl that ribbon over. My goodness, another one. It's not doing a good job when I cut this. Oh, you did? Oh my goodness, that must have been amazing. I've always wanted to go to Hawaii. We've never been. So hopefully when my husband retires, that's more one of the places we want to go. That's the plan anyway. Okay, so the next one, that's the plan. All right, we're going to pull the plaid up, um, the yellow down. Okay. And run the orange. Now, you don't have to use three ribbons. You can use two and alternate them, you know, do two and two. Again, it's totally up to you. Okay, we're over here. On the bottom where they seem so far apart because, you know, I skipped that half pipe cleaner. But if you put them together, it's way too... Um, the ribbons are just too much, too close together. All right, now we're on the yellow. <coughs> you stayed at a diamond resort. Now, how long did you guys go for? Did you go for a week or 10 days? I'm figuring we should go for at least two weeks or you know two weeks because you know it takes a day travel there and back so oh, hey Paula how are you don't forget to share this video if you would and don't forget to join my King Sumo giveaway and enter every day and also, if you could share that with your friends, I would much appreciate it. Did I not cut enough? I must not have. You went for a week? One more. One more. Orange goes up, the sunflower stays in the center, and the plaid comes down. All right, so, oh, there's that one. I just need one more. Let me cut this real quick. Oh, yeah, COVID ruined a lot of stuff. All right, this is the last one of the ribbon. And then we'll put our gnome on and our sign on. Okay, there we go. Now when you do this, you're going to have like an orange and an orange, a yellow and a yellow, but you can't worry about that. It's going to happen. So, all right, there we go. What do you guys think? I love that black and white mesh. So I think we're going to, I wonder if we should put the gnome over this side this time. And maybe, let's make a little bow and see what we think. 
I'm not going to make a huge bow. Put this to the back. All right, let's get our ribbon out. Use our pro bow here. Okay, we have our pipe cleaner. I know, isn't it cute, Janie? Oh, she did such a good job. All right, I think I'm going to do the Lisa bow. Okay, so you know with the Lisa bow, you start with the tails on one side. I know, doesn't it? She just did such a great job. So with the Lisa bow, you start with the tail on one side. You do one loop. We're going to do just five inches. And then one loop on this side. Okay, second loop. And then the second tail on this side. Okay. I know, isn't it adorable? And it's holding a little sunflower too. Okay, so that's the first one. And then the second one, you'll start with the um, ribbon on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna make these tails a little longer. And we'll do a five inch loop on this side. And we don't have to twist because um, this ribbon is the same on both sides. Okay, and cut that off. Oh, really? Wow, that's not bad. We figured we'd have to go to California because we'll have to fly out of Philly. Okay, so we started with the tails on this side. Now we'll switch it again to the other way. Again, do the long tails. Flip it. And again, we're going to do the five inch loop. Five inch loop. Okay, and cut that off. All right, and then the last ribbon, we will start on this side. So we're not gonna do a long tail with this one. And we'll do probably, let's go to four inches for this. So we're going in a little bit with the plaid. Okay, and there we go. Oh yeah, it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth a direct flight. Especially one that long, you know. Okay. So just kind of moving my loops and tails around. All right, let's get that zip tie under there. And remember, you want to make sure you get under all of your ribbons. Okay, and tie that one. Pull it off. Oh. Okay, move it to the center where that indent is, and then pull it to the back. And tighten that up a little bit. And put your zip tie in there. 13 hours? Ugh. No. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and fluff our bow here. I can't imagine being in a plane that long.
do the same thing on the other side. Get those loops and tails where you want them. Okay. This is twisted a little bit more than I want it to be. There we go. Okay. All right, and then we're going to tighten that up and cut that off. Um, the shorter ones are about 12 inches. The longer ones are probably 14 inches. Thank you, Kathy. Okay, let's get our bow. And let's decide where we want everything. So let's see. Put our little gnome over here. And we can put our... Either our sign up here with our bow down here. I always like it this way. Um, how many pieces of ribbon? I mean for the bow or for the tails? All right, let's put this up here. I know. Okay, then we have to kind of feed it through here. The tails, the tails, I cut 12 of the sunflower at 12 inches and 12 of the plaid at 12 inches and six of the yellow and six of the orange because I alternated the yellow and the orange. So I only cut six of those. Hey Brenda, how are you? All right. Our bow there. Oh, and then I have some sunflowers to put in too. Okay. It's all sticking. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and put the gnome over here. And then maybe I'll put the sign. Oops. Kind of down here. I think that's what I'll do. You're welcome. All right. Let's go ahead and operate on this guy here. All right. I have my little ice pick that I use. Um, on the pipe cleaners, I use six on the inner row and six half pipe cleaners on the inner row and six full pipe cleaners are up six full on the inner oh my goodness i can't speak six full on the inner row and on the outer row it's six full and six half okay so i'm going to feed this through And if you have trouble with these kind of things, get these little needles. My um, friend Dawn from Reef Decor by Dawn sells them. They are awesome. And I'm going to do the same thing with the hat. There we go. Here. And then we'll see if we want to put um, some of these little sunflowers in. All right, so if you have trouble, just again use your needle and put both of them through, and then just feed it right through the mesh. Oh no, really? That's awful. <laughs> My sister Pat's watching from the next bedroom over. <laughs> okay, so we'll get this on here. Oh, you did? Awesome. Yeah, I'm so glad she started carrying them. You 
find yourself adding pipe cleaners. Yeah, I do the six on the top and the um, 12 on the bottom just because I think them, uh, you know, they, they tend to, look how cute that is. Oh my word, I love this gnome. Okay, let's get the sign on. Yes, this is a kit. It's um, $45 and you get the gnome, the sign, and the ribbons. Yes, we try to do a kit about once a month or so. Sometimes it's a little longer. Um, we have this one. I have two of my patriotic kits left and three of the B kits left. So they're all um, $45 and like I said, which is really a great deal because, um, you know, the gnomes alone, if you were to buy one of the gnomes, you know, she sells the gnomes for like, I don't know, 30 something, 30, $45, depending on how big the gnome is and that kind of stuff. So it's a very good deal. You're welcome. Okay. Let's get this one on. Yeah, and the, um, the link to the kit is pinned to the top. So, all right, so I think I'm going to put the sign right there. And again, I'm going to use my needles to help me thread it in. Oh, I don't know. My niece just left um, this morning. Was it today's two, Monday um, for her honeymoon in Cancun? So, I don't know how things are with traveling internationally or not, but. Yeah, I don't know if you have to quarantine or what you have to do. Who knows? All right. Let's get our, whoops, caught on my wires here. Okay, we're going to take our top wires and do the same thing. Um, I think there's only eight or nine left, Marsha. But if you let me know, I can uh, hold one for you if they're not there. Oops. Ugh. Can't get the wire off. There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh you, oh, you do? Really? Oh, my goodness. Okay. All righty. So there's our ribbons. Now, I do have some of these little sunflowers. I thought, oh, now this does not come with the kit, but I thought I would add these and see how we like them. So what I do when I add these is I kind of twirl the um, pipe cleaners together and kind of make a little circle and get that in there. And these little um, sunflowers I got at Hobby Lobby. So aren't they cute? Oh my goodness. Love them. I just thought they would be perfect for in here. Um, Laura, there is a link at the top of the page that's a pinned link. And in fact, let me see if I... All right, there we go. There's the link to order the kit. I'm going to push these up. Yeah, I didn't ask her. I was going to ask her what they had to do or, you know, if they had to do anything before they came back, but I forgot.
You know, like I said, these little um, flowers, the little sunflowers came from Hobby Lobby. So you can grab those there. And if you want the number, let me know. I have it right here. I'm just pushing them. Whoop, that one just popped right off. That's okay. All right, let's put one back here. I'm gonna have to go and get some more of these little sunflowers. I just really like these a lot. I'm gonna have some big ones, but um, I like these little ones, you know? Goodness, so cute. Oh my goodness, really? Celine Dion? Now that's cool. What does your son do, Debbie? Oh my goodness, I love this. You're not vaccinated? Yeah, we got vaccinated, so. But I know a lot of people aren't. I know. <laughs> Autocorrect is a pain, isn't it? Okay, now these will roll up. Okay, so I'm just kind of rolling these up a little bit. I think we'll put some back here. And if they're too long and you want to cut them off, you can always do that also. Okay. Put some sunflowers back here. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, he did? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, um, my grandson had it, but he really did not have any symptoms at all. He was very lucky. Okay, we'll put one up here. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you, my daughter was exposed so many times, and she never got it. I don't know how she didn't get it she literally was exposed I, I can't even tell you the number of times she was exposed and she tested got tested you know for the antibody test and she didn't have it all right Let's see what we think here I think that's good I think we're good we're good we're good cut some of these off hey Dawn how are you Oh, I'm so sorry, Brenda. Oh. I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay, I'm just going to cut these off. There we go. What do you think? I never know which way to turn it. There's our gnome with our little sunflowers. OK. 
Okay, that's it. Isn't he cute? Oh my goodness, I love how he turned out. Oh no. All right guys, there's my little sunflower gnome wreath. Hope you enjoyed it and go grab yours. There's only, I think, seven or eight left, so. Thanks, Debbie. Oh, thank you guys. All right, well, you have a wonderful rest of your week. I will be back on, I think, Thursday night, because we're packing Thursday night. Um, but, and then I do have a bunch of videos that I recorded for you guys while we are out of town. So be looking for them. There's some really cute videos I did there. All right, guys, have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you on Thursday. God bless you all, and thanks for watching.